Finally, I'm making progress. The dust blows hard. G minor. Oh. Thank you to the Lore Foundation for making this project possible and accepting our fieldwork project, the solar-powered hydronic heated greenhouse. Final conclusion. With a minimal amount of heat, any well-insulated growing space can grow food through the winter without the use of fossil fuels. The key to success is to conserve every resource available. Conserving is just as important as producing. Harvesting our wind resource creates a reciprocal solution to our heat loss issue. We had a leak last night. It froze. The bulkhead cracked. Water everywhere. You can still see there's some water there. But as long as it doesn't freeze the tanks, we're doing good. Let's start with a little tour here. Solar powered hydronic system has three different solar systems. Propylene glycol, it's going to be running through these. This is like an antifreeze. It's also used in cosmetics, so it's harmless to the skin in case there is a leak. It's not going to hurt anybody, but it's also not going to freeze in the winter when it gets cold. During the day, it's going through some panels out there. It's going to heat it up. It's going to pipe through here. we got two pumps, so those pumps are going to circulate the propylene glycol in down there, through the coils, back up out, send it all the way back up through to the east and back out again. Circle, like a lazy river. Second lazy river that we have going on is this one cold water coming in live from the well feeds into this which eventually comes in got some pumps covered up here that's gonna pump the water up into the hot water tank and that hot water can start getting heated by this propylene glycol antifreeze tubing here that's getting heated by the sun outside and it comes through goes down through the soil i haven't covered up the pipes yet um, this is PEX tubing, it's high heat, goes under the rocks, back up through, under the big tank, and then up, 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 back, making its climb back into the hot water tank. Another lazy river, just a little bit more complex. Okay, we're outside the building now. The solar panels that actually just have coils running through with that propylene glycol, they're getting heated up by the sun. But we're behind the big solar panels that run the pumping system. This is running the solar pump. It's got its own system, its own batteries. Now, this is the third system. This runs the pumps. It's a hybrid wind solar system. It's got a 3000 watt inverter. And this is gonna be running the pumps that are gonna be circulating the hot water through the soil day and night, day and night. Now, one of the benefits of getting the turbine is that we added that wind power, which can happen at any time, day or night. So we'll be charging the batteries. We can also turn on a little heater. If we have excess wind, that's gonna be heating the the greenhouse even further. We have a dump loader here and what this does is anytime the turbine is running but the batteries are charged and the sun is out, you don't want to fry your batteries by overcharging them. See the excess energy that's created by that turbine when the wind's blowing and those batteries are charged. One thing we're going to replace this with in the future is a water heating element. I'll be putting a kit PDF together of everything that I purchased to make this work. We got the thermometer up there. Uh, it's just a simple thermometer for um, mechanical, same thing. we got a pressure gauge down here. Okay, we're outside the greenhouse. We're looking at the solar hot water Heliomax system. It's got the hot glycol heating up in the sun right there. It was negative five last night. We didn't have below 30 in the greenhouse. You can see the hot glycol is coming in here. It's going into the tank, coiling around. Now let's check the temperature of the tank. All right, so we got 80 degrees right there. Um, that would be inside the water. Now let's check out what the hot glycol is coming in at. It's a, that's the baby 103.7. Adapt, customize, and join resources. This is our final report, Jack Rabbit Hall of Fame. You can hear so far that you and I love you and me, and here we are.